What's up Star Wars fans, today I have 4 Star Wars Rebels related questions. And these questions come of course after watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. But hey, before we get to those questions, if you love Star Wars and speculation, then hit that subscribe button and come back again soon. But that out of the way now, one of the first questions I have is do Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ahsoka Tano ever meet during that 19 years between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope? I mean, after all, in this series we get to see Obi-Wan Kenobi leaving Tatooine, leaving behind Luke Skywalker, and going on a mission for Bal Organa. And remember, only a year or two after the Empire is formed, Ahsoka Tano herself starts to work with Bal Organa, becoming a rebel informant just like we see in Star Wars Rebels. Now unfortunately, it would seem that Ahsoka and Kenobi have not met during this time, otherwise Ahsoka would have known that her former master, Anakin Skywalker, was indeed Darth Vader. So despite the fact that both Ahsoka and Kenobi both have this relationship with Bail Organa, it would seem that they most likely didn't come into contact with each other. But what is a very interesting second question here, why doesn't Bail Organa ask Ahsoka Tano to help Obi-Wan Kenobi rescue his daughter Leia? Or after Kenobi refuses to leave Tatooine and rescue Princess Leia, why wouldn't Bail Organa go to Ahsoka Tano then, somebody in his employment, part of the rebellion, and somebody at this point he's probably known for almost 10 years, well why wouldn't he ask her for assistance? But here's the thing, Ahsoka Tano didn't know about Leia Organa and her link to Anakin Skywalker, but on the other hand, Obi-Wan Kenobi definitely knew about Leia and Luke Skywalker, so there's a good chance that Bail Organa felt compelled to only tell Obi-Wan about this problem. Not to mention there's a good chance that Bail Organa didn't actually trust Ahsoka Tano fully, at least not with with his daughter. You gotta remember from his perspective, Ahsoka was the Padawan to Anakin Skywalker, and you can rest assured that Bail Organa absolutely knew that Anakin Skywalker turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader. So it's not much of a stretch to think that Bail would have kept Ahsoka at arm's length, thinking that at some point she may also fall to the dark side, just like her master did. But moving on to our third question here, Ahsoka wasn't the only other Jedi that Bail Organa came into contact with, it was established very early on in the Star Wars Rebels series that Bail Organa was keeping tabs on these rebels on Lothal. So then did he let Obi-Wan Kenobi know about Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger? And I think the answer to that question is yes for a couple different reasons. One, when Ezra Bridger and Obi-Wan meet in Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels, it certainly seems that Obi-Wan knows who Ezra Bridger is. He tells him he's in the wrong place and that he already has everything that he needs, but he's letting that go. So not only does he seem to know Ezra's name, but he seems to know quite a bit about him. So it certainly seems like Bail Organa was keeping tabs on Ezra and passing things along to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Though you could also make the point that Ezra Bridger and Kanan Jarrus became quite famous in the Outer Rim as these rebel Jedi. Remember in Season 1 there's that call to action that Ezra Bridger and the Ghost crew put out to the galaxy asking them to join the rebellion against the Empire. Now Obi-Wan Kenobi no doubt heard about that call to action and one way or another may have invented investigated and found out about who Ezra Bridger is, leading him to learn about the entire Ghost crew. And maybe that was through Bail Organa, or it was by another means. Either way, it certainly seems like Obi-Wan Kenobi knew who Ezra Bridger was. That said, question number four is what happens to Reva after the Obi-Wan Kenobi series? And some might think that she becomes a moisture farmer on Tatooine, but personally, I think Reva is just way too much of a fighter, and that in the long term, there's very little chance that Reva does anything that doesn't involve fighting. Maybe she uses her skills as a bounty hunter, certainly the story of a force sensitive bounty hunter would be an interesting one, but what I could also absolutely see is that Obi-Wan Kenobi would introduce Reva to Bail Organa, or at least connect Reva to Bail Organa's network of rebels. And one individual I think it would be great to see working with Reva is none other than Ahsoka Tano. Wouldn't it be interesting if the Martez sisters and Reva became their own own rebel cell. Personally, I think they could certainly do some great work for the Rebellion. But hey Star Wars fans, let me know any questions you have about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, whether they're related to Star Wars Rebels, the Clone Wars, or they're just questions in general. And remember to make the Star Wars community a better place by sharing your speculation, theories, and thoughts in the comments below. That said, I'm Mike, thanks for watching, and remember, 
the force will be with you always.